On behalf of the Raj Bhavan, I extend a hearty welcome to you all to this event. We are really privileged to witness this event on the occasion of Her Excellency completing two years of service as the Governor of Telangana State. Ever since Dr. Samilsai Saundarajan Garu assumed the charge as the Honorable Governor of Telangana, she brought in unprecedented vibrancy and enthusiasm aimed at the all-round development of the state and the well-being of the people of the Telangana. The Raj Bhavan too has been witnessing a lot of vibrant activities in the service of people of Telangana. Has been aptly titled as One Among and Amongst the People. This book is basically a photo featured chronicling of initiatives and events of Honorable Governor during her second year in the service of the people of Telangana. It also features some major events related to Her Excellency's initiatives and services as the Honorable Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry. I request this August gathering to give a big round of applause to Her Excellency on receiving the Top 20 Global Women of Excellence Award 2021 by the Multi-Ethnic Advisory Task Force headed by US Congressman Danny K. Davis. I wish Her Excellency get many more awards in recognition of her exemplary services for the all-round development of Telangana and Puducherry while contributing for the Atma Nirbhar Bharat. I take this opportunity to thank the Honorable Governor Garu for her constant motivation, support, guidance and mentoring me in leading the Raj Bhavan team to translate her vision into action. happy to personally meet you all again. I extend a very hearty welcome to you all. I am really glad to find a galaxy of journalists representing various print and electronic media channels in this meeting. I am really very happy. It is not mere words to express my gratitude. We may perform, we may act, but when endorsement for those actions, particularly from stalwarts of media, media friends, I am really happy to be here with all of you in the beginning of this third year. I always very optimistic. So instead of completing of two years, I can say it is beginning of the third year. Thank you all, the esteemed editors and distinguished journalists for accepting our invitation and sparing your valuable time to attend this media interaction and coffee table book launch. During the last six months, it has become really, I cannot say it's hectic, my double responsibility as Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry and Governor of Telangana, I feel I did justice to both the states. And I am thankful to our Rajbhavan officials because 
it's totally an e office so there was no any delay in dealing with the problems also i am extremely thankful to honorable president of india sri ramnath kovind ji and the vice president shri venkaiah naidu ji and our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji and uh, honorable uh, home minister shri amit shah ji for giving me this greatest opportunity to serve the state i cannot believe that i have completed 2 years of term as governor in service of the people of telangana i am really overwhelmed by the love and affection being showered by the people of telangana state i am very thankful to all the media star words for your kind words and in encourages me to act more i express my sincere gratitude to each and every one of you i take this opportunity to release the book title one among and amongst the people i always say i am not the first citizen of this state i am one among the common citizen of this state i wish and hope that the bond between raj bhavan and the media grows stronger and stronger this will help me to serve the people better and better as it is said it is not raj bhavan praja bhavan and i am in charge of puducherry usually in tamil uh, governor uh, raj bhavan is known as governor maligai maligai means almost like a palace so i changed the word governor's office immediately when i went there so governor cannot be in a maligai and one among the citizen so all my uh, press releases were governor's office covid 19 pandemic has highlighted the need to be self reliant we are strongly marching towards self reliance in many areas our ongoing vaccination program is once a gem of an example of a self reliant and really appreciate the government of telangana for taking forward the vaccination program very successfully and uh, along with the, our uh, national par with the national uh, statistics telangana is moving forward to vaccinate all the citizens of the state and appreciate that and our country has administered a record number of 70 crore doses of vaccination till now and the free vaccination to all the eligible people is going on it will soon cover all the eligible people during the last two weeks we have administered a massive number of 10 crore vaccination doses in just 13 days on some occasions we are administering more than 1 crore vaccine doses in a single day i am sure the country is on right course to release its goal of vaccinating all the eligible people very soon we have set an example in self reliance in terms of ppe kits while meeting our requirements we have also emerged as second largest exporter of ppe kits we could tremendously improve our oxygen generation capacity we have registered exemplary achievements in terms of testing kits and labs and improving our healthcare infrastructure and i should say telangana also from the beginning my appeal was to the government and to the chief minister the uh, infrastructure in the government hospitals should be improved because that is the last hope for the poorest of the poor and i am really happy that uh, some improvement and uh, some improvement in infrastructure is taking place in the state of telangana and in telangana and puducherry we are marching towards 100% vaccination i give top priority to visit the hospitals and vaccination centers to boost the morale of the doctors and healthcare care staff i have been trying my best to dispel vaccine hesitancy among the people in order to give confidence among the safe about the safety of the vaccine I have taken my second dose of vaccine along with tribal women in a tribal village called Kesi Tanda in Ranga Reddy district. I have been interacting with Bharat Biotech, Dr. Reddy's lab and other vaccine makers to know about the progress in vaccine production and distribution. I have visited NIMS, ESIC hospital, COVID control room, launched by the vaccination drive and Tilaknagar and launched the vaccination drive at Tilaknagar PHC. conducted many review meetings with officials to motivate them and guide them i have interacted with so many hospitals to take care of the poor during the second wave it gives me immense satisfaction to mobilize some good help from philanthropic and other organizations who have donated covid relief material like oxygen concentrators etc and i should uh, thank telangana 
because uh, as it is said puducherry is a small uh, union territory and some of the help apart from helping the telangana people some of the uh, kind hearted people help uh, with uh, oxygen concentrators and with pp kits to the state of puducherry also so i uh, i should appreciate the kind heartness of the telangana people also because without any restriction they donated for people of puducherry too and appreciate all those who made generous contributions and donated covid relief material i appreciate the efforts of the red cross society telangana state branch for their efforts in mobilizing blood donations even during the peak of the second wave with the help of the armed force the irc the indian red cross society has ensured regular supply of blood to the thalassemia patients that is very important and i really appreciate the indian red cross and the armed forces for helping the thalassemia people particularly children i thank the armed forces for their exemplary services and the uh, indian red cross has also helped the flood affected people by mobilizing good help nizamabad district indian red cross society unit has been uh, awarded won the prestigious india's medal of honor for that service and as the chancellor of state universities now there we have vice chancellors for all the universities there are enabling conditions for the improvement in higher education i have conducted numerous review meetings with the vice chancellors to transform the telangana as hub of quality higher education in the country chancellor connects alumni is another major initiative to create a broad based platform and network the alumni from across the globe for all around development of universities and i appeal please register all of you must be an alumni of one of the universities in this state please register yourself in this connect this chancellor alumni portal so that you can be identified as a prestigious alumni of your university so that the younger generation can take you as a role model from the same university i have been motivating the vice chancellors and others in the field of academics to understand and implement the national education policy 2020 i strongly believe that national education policy 2020 offers 21st century education to the students india will emerge as the international destination for quality of higher education through the nep 2020 i have also taken part of, in convocations of some universities in the virtual mode too despite the pandemic our education must go on it gave me satisfaction to present laptop to some of the poor and meritorious students and i it gave me satisfaction to present the laptop to some of the poor and meritorious students i call upon the donors to help the needy to continue their online education uninterrupted i have also con conducted the ask the chancellor twitter interaction program for the benefit of the students best i should uh, appreciate our rajbhavan officials and the uh, it's a, i have taken up the nutritional interventional program uh, for the nutritional improvement of the people belonging to the primitive tribal groups and i felt that the nutritional status of the tribes should be improved and uh, we initiated uh, an a pilot project for helping us to improve the nutritional status of the tribe and uh, i felt so happy that we have felicitated the gusadi dance exponent padma shri kanakaraju garu at rajbhavan visited the tribal art exhibition and assured to promote the uh, art kala of the tribals atmanirbhar bharat training i have to say that it gives me a great pleasure to share that our rajbhavan parivar women were trained in uh, magam works and other hand embroidery as a part of atmanirbhar bharat self employment training actually this uh, mass were uh, given by them to me after that training it has contributed for the economic empowerment they are getting orders from outside too women empowerment i have attended and addressed series of meetings aimed at women empowerment i have also taken part in women entrepreneurship promotion activities addressed series of webinars and virtual meetings aimed at promoting women empowerment addressed sources of programs aimed at improving health of the women some other major initiatives that gave satisfaction to me include launching of rajbhavan annam program to offer free nutritious breakfast to the rajbhavan school students and some needy staff particularly our gardeners personal distribution of sarees to the women of rajbhavan parivar during badukama celebrations conducting telemedicine event to guide the people and patients during the floods and pandemic addressing the azadi ka amrit mahotsav meeting at the historical barangal participating in uh, 
Vijay Varsh celebrations of the India's victory in 1971, launching e-office to herald a paperless administration, connecting the people with different walks of life, and uh, writing a book on PM and PM. This PM's uh, actually the guidance from the central government was really very much appreciated during the pandemic. So uh, regular interactions from the Prime Minister office and the Home Minister office and the Health Minister office helped us to move forward in controlling the disease. So putting all that efforts together, I wrote a book about uh, PM and PM, that is uh, PM and uh, Prime Minister and Pandemic Management. I once again thank the media organizations, media friends for your support, suggestions and encouragement all the time. I thank the Chief Minister Sri Chandrasekhar Rao Garu and his Cabinet Minister's State Administration and the Police for their cooperation. I appreciate and thank advisors to the government, Secretary to the Governor, Joint Secretaries, ADCs, Press Secretaries and all the Raj Bhavan staff members for their committed work. I offer my huge thanks to the most beloved people of Telangana and Puducherry for their overwhelming love and affection and the emotional bond that I could develop with them. I look forward to your continued cooperation, support, love and affection in the years to come to serve you better and better. Jai Hind, Jai Telangana.